Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. So I would definitely marry the master teacher number 33 because you get the best of both worlds with this energy. So you get the the number three energy that repeats itself where this energy is super spontaneous. There's never a dull or a boring moment with the master teacher number 33. You know, you're constantly laughing. You're constantly enjoying all the great things that life has to offer because this energy is all about pleasure. They like, they enjoy pleasure and you know, I, the sixth energy comes in. So they enjoy beauty. So to me, what's coming to mind as I'm speaking is like Leo and Venus energy combined. I say Leo because the number three energy is like Leo energy, that heart energy, that creative self-expression. And then the number six energy is like that Venusian energy that enjoys beauty, pleasure, and all the finer things that life has to offer. So just imagine being with someone that makes you laugh. You guys get to laugh together. They're super youthful, you know, so they look young regardless of how old they're getting. And then on top of that, they look good and they smell good. You know what I mean? Like that's a perfect combination. One where it's almost like connecting to your mind, body, and soul because that creative aspect of them is the part that will tap will tap into the soul energy you know so like yeah being married to the master teacher number three 33 to me is one it's like i see a life where it's like basically we spend time it's like we're busy all the time because the master teacher number 33 energy likes spontaneity and likes to be free to be able to come and go as they please and i could totally relate to that having your um aquarius in the sixth house and basically approaching things with like from one extreme to the next not liking routine or feeling held down so you know the master uh, teacher number 33 they don't want to be held down so we get to go on vacations where basically we pack up and go and it's probably spontaneous how it happens like i don't see being married to the number 33 a situation where it's like we're planning a trip to egypt for next year or next two years type situation it's one where we have the money in the bank we saw some good deals we booked the ticket we're on the flight when we get there, we might have booked a, a, a place to stay, but we're optimistic and we know, okay, we have money in the bank and that's all that matters. When we get there, we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? But we're there, we're staying in a nice place because, you know, the the six, even though we don't reduce master numbers, the Venusian energy and the fact that the 33 can reduce to the six, we're going to be staying in a nice place. You know what I mean? That's important to the master teacher. And when we get there at the same time, it's like we're like kids in the candy store. We're exploring and we're seeing everything this place has to offer. It doesn't feel like we're on this strict work schedule, how some other numbers will want to say, okay, at noon we're doing this and at one o'clock we're doing that. Like, no, the, num the master teacher don't want you to bring that foolishness on vacation. And I love it. You know, it's just that hopefully one of us got some four and eight in our chart somewhere, you know, and I think I might have it for us to a certain extent, but like, you know, one of us have some four or eight in our chart to where we'll do some level of basically planning. Um, will serve as some form of anchor to kind of like keep the kite because you know both of us are kites and we're just up there you know all over the place but one of us will be the one that anchors us down and say okay we'll wake up tomorrow and at some point you know we have to do this or maybe at midday we have this one appointment but before and after we can do whatever it is that we want you know what I mean because 
you know, basically the master teacher energy is one that needs to be flexible and free. And I can totally unify with that. And being married to the master teacher number 33 is one where, again, the best of both worlds, one where you're constantly associating with different groups of people that stimulate you on a creative way. You know, so I myself love to be creative and love to express myself creatively. But at the same time, I'm a big introvert and a loner. So this is where the master teacher will introduce me to all these different people that I'll probably only hang out when we are together together because on my own I'll probably prefer to just be home relaxing and just diving into my imagination or creating something where the master teacher energy is one that just knows a lot of people and they need their freedom now because this is where the three energy needs to go within itself and come up with the different creative ideas and go on these creative adventures that it enjoys with itself. You know, so the master teacher needs its time alone, you know, need to spend time with itself exploring and having these adventures. And I am totally cool with that. So if you're someone that's cool with that, you know, with the, when it comes to the master 33 energy, that could definitely work, you know, giving them time to explore and spend time with the different groups and then come back and bring you along sometimes when they want to or just come home and share the experiences with you. Either way, as long as you're cool with that, everything is cool. And with the master um, teacher energy too, it's like they're not master teachers for no reason because of their curiosity and their big heart energy, that childlike three energy that I connect to Leo energy, you know, the big heart tapping into their inner self. It's like they're teaching from their personal experiences where it's almost like they're channeling through from source and their connection. There's so many different connections that they're associated with where they're able to learn things from this group, learn things from that group. So it's like they're master teachers for a reason because they're connected to source and at the same time the level of responsibility that they have to the community around them, where they're constantly picking up different things from other people and then turn around and sharing it back to empower others. So with your master teacher, whether they are teaching on a world stage or just coming home and expanding your mind and you get to live vicariously through them, you know, it's never a dull moment, one where the mind is constantly being stimulated. There's a lot of laughter, there's a lot of adventure, and just basically experiencing the best of both worlds, the physical reality of this world and the non-physical reality of this world. And I put my hand on my chest because of all that heart energy that's connected, you know, with the master, teacher energy and you know this is a person that's super selfless that basically they are all about like taking care of the ones they love and serving the needs of the ones they love but they just need their own freedom to do it when they please so when it comes to your master teacher it's important for you to ask questions and find out what makes them feel appreciated because more than likely they don't know because they're so busy showing it to other people so once you find out what makes them feel appreciated you want to do this often so that this is a relationship where you are constantly outdoing each other when it comes to loving on each other and showing appreciation because like this is a beautiful connection where like i've said a couple times you get to experience the best of both worlds you guys if you are still here with me i would love to hear about it please let me know by dropping me a green heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does take care of yourself and i look forward to seeing you in the next video